Here's something you will need to do if you're building a new set of stairs, and that will be to check the distance, the vertical distance for headroom clearance between the bottom of the ceiling and the top of the stair stringers. Now this distance most of the time is going to be six foot eight inches. However, you will need to verify that measurement with your local building and safety department. Now the best time to do this is before you build the stairs. What I suggest you do is install one of the stair stringers in its correct place and just fasten it with one nail. And remember, you're not going to want to walk on this. Uh, you're just fastening the stair stringer temporarily so that you can check the headroom clearance and make sure that it is close to acceptable. After the stair stringer has been temporarily fastened, you will need to measure the distance between the floor, bottom of the floor, and the top of the stringer. Now let's just say that this distance is um, eight feet, then you're probably safe. You're not going to need to worry about um, going to the next step. However, let's just say that you measure this distance here and it's um, less than seven foot uh, three inches just to be on the safe side. If that's the case, then you need, will need to go to the next step which will be placing a straight edge on top of the stair stringer. Now, this is just one way, but you will need to allow for two other things if you think that the stairway is going to encroach on this headroom clearance and you think it's going to be a problem or you think it's going to be close. If that's the case, you will need to place a couple of stair risers and stair treads on the stringer and again you might need to put uh, you might need to use two stringers you might be able to do this with a couple of scraps of plywood um, place the treads and risers you're going to use in a couple of locations and then put the straight edge back on top and then get the vertical measurement and again you can do this with a level simply place the level up against the floor and level uh, straight down um, to the stringer and again you can always do this with a with a two by four too if you got a two foot level use an eight foot two by four place the two by four up against the floor um, get it level perfectly level make a mark a pencil mark on the stringer and then measure from there and uh, uh, that should yet should get it and again if you if you're really having a problem trying to figure this thing out here and this is a video that would be more for advanced stair builders than beginners however it is important for someone who is building their first stairway uh, the reason is because a lot of people don't know that there's building codes that they need to follow and don't forget you can always go to the website to uh, check out other building codes now there is one more thing you will need to compensate for and that would be any drywall, plaster, ceiling, crown molding, anything that is going to encroach into this area. Um, if you're going to put crown molding around this and it's going to be sticking down, you will need to adjust for everything. This is a finished stairway minimum measurement. This is not a rough framing measurement. If you're going to install stair treads, um, plywood stair treads, for example, and that's going to be the rough framing, and then you're going to install tile on top of that, or a nice thick uh, inch carpet, or you're going to, you need two layers of drywall on the ceiling, whatever it is, these are finished measurements, and you will need to compensate for every possible thing that uh, is going to be attached to the stairway and to the ceiling. And like I said, you can always visit the website for more information. And do not forget, and I can't stress this enough, do not forget to check with your local building and safety department for more information about minimum headroom clearances because the information in this video could be outdated, which of course would create a problem for your six foot eight measurement. And like I said earlier, I think I said that in some cases it's six foot six. Either way, when you're getting into six foot eight inches for someone like myself who's six foot three, 
this creates a problem. Most of the time I end up ducking even when this measurement is 6 foot 10 inches. So if you're a tall person, uh, you might want to um, somehow figure out a way to <clears throat> make this work or even have the ceiling height uh, a little larger than the minimum. The minimum is for the average size person. It is not going to help someone out who plays basketball for a living. 